Yeah, my name is, uh, I'm Dan Calhoun, I'm the Vehicle Line Manager for the CX-3. I'm going to provide some insight on how we plan to go to market with the, with the CX-3. A vehicle that we feel is going to strongly resonate with uh, U.S. consumers, as well as treat our new and current buyers to the dynamic and rewarding driving experience that all Mazdas deliver. After you drive the vehicle today, we're very confident that you're going to come away as excited as we are about the all-new CX-3. I think you can all attest to the fact that the subcompact uh, CUV segment is burgeoning in the U.S. But basically started with the uh, Nissan Juke, the Buick Encore, and the Mini Countryman is really set to explode with the recent addition of the Chevy Trax, plus four all-new models for 2015, with CX-3 being one of those. The segment is growing because of consumers' desire for, they want the ride height and the visibility of the CUV, they're looking for the versatility and the functionality of a hatchback, plus the added capability of all-wheel drive. The shorter, the shorter wheelbase and smaller size really provides uh, a really great size car to help them navigate through their congested urban environment. And then there's the cost of ownership and affordability that's provided by the great fuel economy and the price of a compact car. Taking a quick look at the segment we've seen in 2014, just under 120,000 units. As we move to 2015, we're expecting close to 300,000 units, more than doubling the volume already uh, that we met in 2014. For 2017, we continue to see exponential growth, and we're looking up to about 458,000 units. Uh, with the way this segment is starting to emerge, we actually feel that it's undercalled, and we expect the segment probably to, to go well past half a million units when we move into 2017, especially as other entries start announcing their intent to enter into this this hot segment. So what's the expected impact on Mazda? It's an all-new nameplate. The CX-3 will quickly become one of our core models, and it will offer us the opportunity for strong growth in 2015 and beyond. Of course, it furthers our stable of products utilizing the SkyCube technology and code of design, which is very, very important to the growth of the Mazda brand. And not only does it expand our portfolio of CUVs, but based on its price point, it gives us an, actually an entry point to our CVs, and it gives an introduction to the enjoyment of driving and owning a Mazda product. And as we move forward in the life cycle, the CX-3 is going to be the perfect feeder model for our already successful CX-5. So we look at our target. Target is young, urban, singles and couples with an active lifestyle. They desire products that match their personal values. And training things in body refinement, creativity, and ingenuity. They, they do value, place much greater value on experiences or material things, but with that said, although they're not status conscious, they do seek self-expression and they will actively seek out products that are a reflection of personality those around them. Lastly, our research shows that these buyers want the ability to go where they want, when they want, but they just don't want to go from point A to point B, they want to have fun getting there. Based on the target profile, we encapsulate the key criteria that define the buyer's core values regarding their vehicle choice. First, they seek out well-designed well -designed products that project their cutting-edge lifestyle and help them stand out from the crowd. Second, they want an interior that provides a comfortable and connected environment, one that keeps them safe and makes the trip safe, I mean, makes the trip exciting and enjoyable for all the occupants. And then lastly, they want to enjoy a pure driving experience. These buyers don't drive because they have to. This target drives because they want to, because to them, driving matters. And from this, we boil it down to a general statement, pursue the essential connection between the car and its passengers. This is really important for the CX-3, because we didn't just build a small <coughs> CX-5. We took the values and wants and needs of this, of this uh, target uh, buyer, and that's where we developed our key product values. First, there's a distinctive exterior and interior design, and there's fun to drive performance and dynamics without compromising fuel economy, thoughtful packaging that helps them expand their lifestyle, and of course, there's classifying features and technology that provide comfort, safe, and connected environment. Ken and Stan took you through a lot of detail on the design and the, and the dynamics, but I just want to come point out a couple of key points. When you drive the vehicle today, I want you to notice how natural the CX-3 feels, how it delivers abundant torque, and powerful linear acceleration. In addition, like all Mazdas, the CX-3 is going to deliver confidence-inspired handling and stability. And this is very important for those who love to drive. And unlike a lot of the other cars in this segment, the CX-3 offers 
uh, does not offer a CVT. It offers a, tr a terrific automatic transmission with the sport mode, and I think you guys will appreciate that when you get out and actually start driving the vehicle. And then lastly, as is the case with all of our Sky Active powertrains, there's no compromise in fuel efficiency for great performance, because we're going to hit class league fuel economy safely. And because the buyer wants to go where they want, when they want, our great predictive I can drive all wheel drive system is available on every single channel. We put a lot of detail into packaging this car. It is a little bit smaller car, so there was like a, a, a lot of study went into how we best package the vehicle. First off, I'm just going to go through a couple things, but one is the ideal seating position. First for the driver, the right height provides excellent visibility, but not only that, it also gives you a great view of your surroundings. That allows you to see other cars, but it also helps you when you want to go for a drive and you have a guardrails, maybe going through the coast or up through the mountains, you can actually see the great uh, scenery around you so it doesn't get blocked. Second, because the smaller people have a tendency to sit in the back of the car, we took the rear seats and raised them up and brought them inward. And what this does is it allows for eye contact and also uh, kind of facilitates the conversation. But in addition to that, it gives the rear passengers good visibility out the front of the car so you don't feel like you're trapped in behind the front seats as you're going down the road. And then lastly, there's the uh, ease of ingress and egress. This is really important. If you go too high or too low, as, as kind of Kevin alluded to, puts undue stress on your legs. But what we really found out as we did research with our female buyers is they wanted a vehicle that they can gracefully get in and out of with a skirt. And the CX-3 delivers on that. Of course, being a Mazda, ideal driving position. Very, very important. And this is something we constantly worked on in all of our sixth generation products. The reason this is so important because as you feel comfortable and relaxed in driving, you have much better control over the car, which is important for a driver. We've achieved this through the optimization of the pedal layout and ample adjustment for both the seat and the steering wheel. I think you look at this as being uh, subcompact, but when you get in and drive today, I think you'll all be able to find a very, very comfortable uh, seating position, very good long track in the front seat, so we're very confident in that. In addition to that, seat design to support the driver. It has to have the appropriate shape and firmness, it feels confident when you drive, but there's also vibration absorbing foam materials, and that helps you to stay uh, comfortable and so you don't get fatigued, which then keeps you more attentive as you drive. It really stands out when it comes to classifying features and technology. You're going to find things on this car, you're not going to find other cars in the class, and on even more expensive vehicles in the marketplace. One of these is our active driving display, which is a pop up display that provides real time driving data such as speed, driving directions, and the safety warnings. And what's nice about it, it's in the forward field of view, so you don't take your eyes off the road, so it's very safe and easy to use. Another one, seven inch color touchscreen is standard across the board. You're gonna find in this segment that a lot of competitors will start maybe with a five inch LCD screen, and then as you move up through the uh, their, their, their trims, that's when you get the larger screen. Again, we have the seven inch screen standard across the board. It's located in, this, in the uh, dash above the center stack. Again, that provides for easy and safe uh, viewing of your infotainment and your communication information. It's also where you're going to, when you put the car in reverse, we have a standard rear camera. This is where the image of the camera will come in. And then lastly, because it has a screen, all CX3s are pre wired for the navigation system. It's a dealer installed accessory that you can, for under $400, you can get the factory nav system on any car throughout the lineup, and even on the entry sport. So if you're talking to a younger buyer, connectivity is extremely important to them. Mazda Connect is standard on all vehicles in order to, to help them stay connected. This allows them to have their smartphone connected where they can use for safe and easy internet access when they're in transit. They can connect via Bluetooth for hands-free phone operation, for email uh, receive, readout, and message receive. They can use applications like Pandora, AHA and Stitcher, that allows them for easy to use internet radio or to have social networking services. And then we also have Mazda apps that benefit from things like fuel economy monitor and maintenance reminders. And since we have Mazda Connect, we also have the HMI Commander, which is standard again on all vehicles. Not only is the Commander it's located in the center council for easy and safe use, but it's very intuitive and very easy, easy to use. 
And this is an advantage that you're not going to find on any other vehicle across the, the, uh, the segment. But again, it makes it very easy for them to interface with the HMI system. World class safety. Again, here's some features you're going to find you're not going to find even on a lot of more expensive cars. We have our Active Sense safety that has that works to reduce any chance of injury or damage to the vehicle. We have things like our crash mitigation systems. We have a smart city brake support, which is a lower speed, more that operates between two and 18 miles per hour. And then we have smart brake support, which is higher speed. In addition to that, we have our lighting system. We have an adaptive front lighting system where the headlights actually turn with the wheel. And then we also have the um, high beam control, automatic high beam control is, is combined with that. There's a lane departure warning, so when you're driving along and you start to drift from the lane, you'll get a warning on that. So what I want to say is, uh, you either get a beep or a rumble. I think the cars that you're going to be driving all have the rumble in them right now, so there's nothing wrong with the speakers, so don't think there's a blown speaker or anything. You'll get a rumble as you start to go over across the lane. Two, three of my favorite items, Mazda Radar Cruise Control. So you got the radar cruise that you will not find, again, even on higher class of vehicles. Might not get a chance to experience that today because it's better for an open road, but again, it's, it's a, a feature that we're offering in the car. And then my favorites, we have the blind spot monitor and the rear cross traffic alert. And important, if you ever do get in an accident, we are capable of earning the highest crash level ratings. We have not had been tested yet, but we're targeting the top safety. 